Hi, welcome to this Corp Miles video. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the midpoint of a line or the midpoint of two coordinates. So in terms of finding the midpoint of a line, there's two different approaches which I would typically use. The first approach is to plot the points on a grid and to use inspection to, to look at the grid and to see where the midpoint of those points are. And sometimes it's quite obvious. The second approach is to use the formula and that's to add together the coordinates and then half them. So for instance, if you want to find the midpoint of x1, y1 and x2, y2, we would add together the x coordinates and then divide by 2, and we'd add together the y coordinates and divide by 2. And that's it. So we can use either of these approaches. So let's have a look at the typical question now. So here's our first question. We've got the point A, which is the point 1, 1, and the point B, which is 5, 3. And we want to find the midpoint of the line AB. So we want to find the midpoint of the line AB. So in terms of that, let's join them up to begin with. So let's join up those two points, like so. And if we wanted to use inspection, we could just look at that line and see where the midpoint would be. And I can see straight away the midpoint would be here. The midpoint would be this point here, 3, 2, because it's in the middle of the line AB. So the coordinates of the midpoint would be 3, Two. And we find that by just looking at the line and seeing where the midpoint was. And that one was quite nice because it's quite obvious where the midpoint is. You could, if you wanted to, get a ruler. And if you put your ruler along the line, you can see the line's four centimeters and the midpoint's two centimeters. So then that would show you that's the midpoint of the line. So that's one approach. But this question was quite nice because the points were plotted on the grid and we were trying to find the coordinates of the midpoint. And you could see that quite nicely. But sometimes the grid's not drawn to scale or drawn accurately. So you'd have to use a second approach. And the second approach is to add together the coordinates and then divide by two. So the coordinates of the point A are one. 1 and the coordinates of the point B are 5, 3, 5, 3. So if we wanted to find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line AB, what we would do is we would add together these coordinates and then divide by 2. Now you might want to set it out like this where you do x1 plus x2, so 1 plus 5, adding together the x coordinates and then divide by 2, and then add together the y coordinates, so 1 plus 3 and then divided by two, you could set it out like this, and then one plus five is equal to six, and then divided by two is equal to three, so three, and then in terms of the y coordinate, one plus three is equal to four, and then divided by two would be two. So the coordinates of the midpoint of the line AB would be three, two, and that's it. And if you wanted to, you could just add them together, one plus five is equal to six, and then divided by two would be three, and one plus three is equal to four, and then just divided by two would be two, and that's it. So you could use either approach, you could use inspection, if it's drawn nicely on a grid like this, and you can see See the coordinates of the midpoint but also using this approach where we add together the coordinates and divide by two is really useful as well okay let's have a look at our next question so our next question says write down the coordinates of the midpoint of cd so we've got the point c which is negative four zero and the point d which is two four and we've been asked to write down the midpoint of cd so again what we could do is we could join them up like so and then look at it and find out where the midpoint would be and that would be negative one two you can see that midpoint quite nicely there negative one two so they're the coordinates of the midpoint alternatively you could add together the coordinates and then divide by 2. So let's write down the coordinates, negative 4, 0, and the point D was 2, 4. And if we wanted to find the coordinates of the midpoint, I'm going to add them together and divide by 2. So I'm going to do negative 4 plus 2, and then divide by 2, adding the x coordinates together, negative 4 and 2, adding them together, and then divide them by 2. And then we're going to add together the y coordinates and divide by 2. So we're going to do 0 plus 4, divided by 2. So 0 plus 4, divided by 2. Okay, so negative 4 plus 2. Well, if we're at negative 4 and we add 2, we go back up 2, so that'd be negative 2. And then divided by 2 would be negative 1, so that'd be negative 1, because negative 4 plus 2 is equal to negative 2, and then dividing that by 2 would be negative 1. And then in terms of the y coordinate, 0 plus 4 is equal to 4, and then divided by 2 would be 2. So the coordinates of the midpoint would be negative 1, 2. And as you can see here, negative 1, 2 was the midpoint we found using inspection. So we just added together the coordinates, negative 4 plus 2 is equal to negative 2, and then divided by 2 is equal to negative 1, and 0 plus 4 is equal to 4, divided by 2 is equal to 2, and that's it. So that's the coordinates of the midpoint. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've got a grid, and we've got the points E, which is equal to 1, negative 5, so 1, negative 5, and the coordinates of the point F are 5, 2, so 5, 2. And we've been asked to find the coordinates of the midpoint of EF. So again, we could use inspection by looking at those and finding out where the midpoint would be. I'm going to add together the coordinates and divide by 2. So I'm going to add together the x-coordinates, so 1, plus 5, so 1 plus 5, divided by 2, and then the y coordinates, negative 5 plus 2, so negative 5 plus 2, divided by 2. So adding together the x coordinates and dividing by 2, and adding together the y coordinates and dividing by 2. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6, and then divided by 2 would be 3, 
And then in terms of the y coordinates, negative 5 plus 2, well, negative 5 plus 2 would be equal to negative 3, because if you go back up 2, you get to negative 3. And then divided by 2, half a negative 3 would be negative 1.5. So it means the coordinates to the midpoint of EF would be 3, negative 1.5. And let's just join them up and see if that's the case. If we use inspection, would it be 3, negative 1.5? So let's just have a look. So we've joined up the points E and F. And in terms of the midpoint, well, the x coordinate would be 3 and negative 1.5. Yep, that's right. So that's the coordinates to the midpoint, which is add together the x coordinates. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6, divided by 2 is 3, and negative 5 plus 2 is equal to negative 3, halved would be negative 1.5, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So the questions we've looked at so far have been quite nice, and the reason they've been quite nice is all of them have been on coordinate grids where we can actually just look and see where the midpoints of the lines are. Now here, if we have a look here, we've got a set of axes, and this time it would say not drawn accurately or not to scale, it's just a sketch. And we've been asked to find the coordinates of the midpoint of AB, and we've, and we've got the coordinates of point A being negative 2, 3, and the coordinates of the point B being 8, 6. So we want to find the coordinates of the midpoint of this line. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these coordinates together and then divide by 2. Okay, so let's start off with our x coordinates. So let's add these together and divide by 2. So negative 2 plus 8, well, negative 2 plus 8 is 6, and then divided by 2 would be 3. So the x coordinate of the midpoint of the line would be 3, because negative 2 plus 8 is 6, and then divided by 2 is 3. And then in terms of the y coordinates, 3 plus 6 is equal to 9, and then divided by 2 would be 4.5. So the coordinates at the midpoint of the line AB would be 3, 4.5. So 3 across, 4.5 up, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at one more question. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. Now, this question is a little bit different because this time we've been given the coordinates of the midpoint of the line and we've been asked to find the coordinates of the point B. And we know that the point A is 1, 4, the midpoint of the line is 5, 7.5, and we need to find the coordinates of the point B. So let's do that. So in terms of this, we could do use two different approaches for this question. One approach is to use the formula we've looked at before, where we add together the x-coordinates and divide by 2, and we know what the answer would be. That would be equal to 5, so the answer would be equal to 5, and we could work out what this x-coordinate would be. So that's one approach. Or well, there is another approach, and I'm going to use the other approach first, and because I prefer this one. Okay, so if I wanted to find the coordinates of the point B, what I would do is I'd think, how do I get from A to M? And then, so once I then figure out what I would do to get from A to M, then I would do the same again to get to the point B. So let's do that. If I was at the point A and I wanted to get to the point M, I would go across. And I would go four units across to get from one to five, I would go four units across. To get from one across to five across, I'd go four more across. And then to go up, well, the height of this point is four, and the height of this point is 7.5. So we'd be going up 3.5 there. We'd be going up 3.5 from a height of four to a height of 7.5, we'd be going up 3.5. So to get from A to the point M, we would go 4 across and 3.5 up. Now that's the midpoint of the line, so that means that we need to do the same again to get to the point B. So we're going to go another 4 across and another 3.5 up. So another 4 across and another 3.5 up. And then once we go 4 more across and another 3.5 up, we would then know what the coordinates of the point B would be. Okay, so if we're at the point M and we're 5 across, if we go another 4 across, that's going to be 9 across altogether, because this one's 5 across. If we go another 4 across, that'll be 9 across. And in terms of the height, the height of this point is 7.5. We're going to go up another 3.5, 7.5 plus 3.5 is equal to 11. So that means the coordinates of the point B would be 9, 11. And that's it. And I like that approach where you think, how do I get from this point to the midpoint? And then I would just do the same again to get to the other point. And that's the approach I would use for this question. Now, there is another approach to find the coordinates of the point B. And that is to consider the fact that if we want to find the coordinates of the midpoint of a line, we'd add together the coordinates and then divide by 2. So let's just call the coordinates of this point P and Q. Um, I could call them A and B or X and Y, but I would just call them P and Q. And if I want to find the coordinates of the midpoint, I'd add together the 1 and the P, and then I would divide by 2 to get 5. That means that 1 plus p must be equal to 10. 1 plus p must be equal to 10 because whenever I add them together, I must get 10 because then whenever I half it, I get that's equal to 5. So 1 plus p must be equal to 10. And then if we take 1 away from both sides, we get that p is equal to 9. So that means that in terms of this point here, it would have to be 9 across because 1 plus 9 is equal to 10 and then divided by 2 would be equal to 5. So the x coordinates of the point B would be 9, so 9. Okay, now let's find the y coordinate of the point B. So if I want to find this y coordinate, I'll do 4 plus q, and then I would divide it by 2, and I'd get 7.5. So if I double the 7.5, that's equal to 15. That means that 4 plus q must be equal to 15. So let's write that down. 4 plus q is equal to 15. And then if I take away 4 and take away 4, we get that q is equal to 11. 
So it means that a y coordinate of the point B must be 11. And that's it. So the coordinates of this point B must be 9, 11. And as you can see, that was the same as the approach that we used. But I do prefer that first approach where I just consider, well, we go 4 across on 3.5 up. So we go another 4 across on 3.5 up. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to find the midpoint of a line. Sometimes it's quite nice where we can just find the midpoint of the line straight away by just looking at it. Or another approach is to add together the coordinates and then just divide by 2. And you'll find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line. And that's it.